Hey, it's Brian Mudd. This is my cheat sheet for Tuesday, April 10th. Is college still an overall good return on investment? There is some good news. Despite the higher cost, the record student loan debt, and the difficult job market, even for college graduates in today's economy, the good news is for most people, there is still a net positive return on investment. Typically, people who do obtain college degrees will earn about 150% more during the course of their lifetime than those that are non-college graduates. There is a definite theme, though. This is consistent with a lot of what we've heard in the last few years about jobs in the future. The single best place for return on an investment, engineering schools, hands down. They dominate the top 30 schools for uh, overall return on investment. For the complete list, check out my physical cheat sheet. Plenty of good opportunities still exist. Uh, Robert Schiller, you know, the K. Schiller Home Index, he was out talking yesterday in very optimistic terms, something that actually rang home with my heart. He was talking about capitalism taking over the world. He said it's really hard to tell inside the U.S. right now because of the politics that are so divisive, the uh, advent of Occupy Wall Street and such over the, the last year. He actually said that capitalism is breaking out in more parts of the world right now than at any point prior in history. In fact, he's calling this the age of capitalism. He says that Wall Street is not only good for the America, it's good for the world. And other people are starting to figure this out. Now, it wasn't quite the greed is good statement, a la a movie about Wall Street, but uh, it was a, a pretty resounding statement at a time in which a lot of people have felt beaten down and demonized for enga engaging in investment business creation and otherwise just feeling like they're the targets of uh, various politicians. So Robert Schiller, I've got his complete comments in video form that are on my physical cheat sheet today. I invite you to go see it, especially if you're a good capitalist like me. Make you feel a little bit better about what's going on outside of our borders here. Self-checkouts, are they almost over? Get this, a lot of stores are actually canning self-checkouts already. And this has been all the rage in the last few years as supposed to be more efficient, right? Gets us through the line quicker, but does it really? Especially if you have booze like at Costco. And then you still have to get somebody over there, right? But anyway, um, it turns out that theft at self-checkouts is 500% higher than when we go through a traditional line with a cashier. In other words, it's not a better investment for most of the merchants who engage in it. It's much better off, you're much better off paying somebody. So anyway, um, this could be a new trend. As quickly as self-checkouts have been coming, they could be going away. And two major uh, chains are already pulling them right now. And also, if you're a business person, think about that. 500% more theft. Not a good number. New plan for smartphones. This is something that is pretty cool that can be helpful. Smartphone thefts are really on the rise right now, and it's no surprise, right? I mean, we're all carrying around devices that are worth anywhere from five dollars to $800. So on the black market... You get one of these things, they can easily be resold for 100 to 200 bucks, and that's part of the problem. They can be resold and reused. There is actually a new plan underway so that once a smartphone is actually reported as stolen, well, you would be able to stop any use of that smartphone ever again. There's a number you'd be able to call, uh, and the FCC, in conjunction with service providers, would put an end to the use of that mobile device. So it could not be resold, and that would make it less attractive for people to be uh, on the market for stealing and reselling on the black market smartphones. That is the cheat sheet for today. Enjoy yours. See you tomorrow.